All right. So the second part is create pick lists and field dependencies. So I'm going to move this to my other screen and I'm going to walk us through together on what needs to be done. So the first step, create pick list and field dependencies. We are going to add pick list value sets. So to do that, we go from setup and then search pick list value sets on here. I'm going to allow it so it's going to stop asking. Pick list value sets. So we are going to create a new one and we are going to name it region. So I'm just going to copy and paste and the description would be this one and the values I'm going to copy that make sure you don't have any extra spaces there and that's it save so we have now a new uh, pick list value set which is called region moving on next create a custom pick list field called region on the lead and account objects all right let's move on to account objects or let's do lead first lead and we are going to name it region new field okay um and then we are going to choose this as a pick list here the name is region and we are going to uh, use global pick list value set okay and then description I'm going to enter and then the help text as well make sure no extra line there the help tag, oops, the help text is in which region the customer is based. All right, so next. Oh, I forgot to choose that. So choose that region uh, which we just created. And next, we want to um, make sure it's this is only for the sales user to modify. So I'm going to make everybody just read only, but the sales user can update the field. So I'm going to uncheck the read only for the sales user. Next and save. So I'm going to add onto the page layouts. So the same thing is we are going to do for the account object. Same thing, fields and relationships new field is going to be a pick list from the global value set and we are going to name this region as well global value set and then description and help text would be the same there now same thing next everybody read only but the sales user can modify it so sales user not read only next at the page layout that's it so next up create custom pick list called zone on the account object it's editable by sales user so new one custom pick list so not from the global value set it's a pick list and it's a custom called zone so we are going to enter the values okay and i'm going to copy this from the trailhead like that make sure you don't have any extra spaces and stuff and then the description and the help text no extra line 
an extra line. Same thing, sales user can modify and only the sales user can modify this, meaning everybody else can only read read only and the sales user is not read only. Like that. Next and add them to the page layout as well. Now, next up is field dependencies, okay? So while still in the um, account object, we click field dependencies here. And we are going to make a new one. So the controlling field would be region and the dependent field would be, so the controlling field would be region, the dependent would be zone. There continue so select the appropriate zones in each column by double clicking them APAC um, okay so APAC can have East Asia East Asia so you, you can click control or command to multi select okay so this um, three here include values and then basically oh it's pretty so for there include values and then three there include values and then five one two three four five until west us include values and then canada of course until there east coast as well include values and then you can preview it so if the region is canada the zone there that's how the dependent pick list works us like that so it's working as expected and now i'm just going to save it that's it so if I check, what else? Oh, we still need to do one more step, I think. Create a custom pick list field called close reason, editable by the sales users only. This is for opportunity now. So go to opportunity. I'm going to search for opportunity. And then fields and relationships. And I'm going to make a new. So if the opportunity is closed, we want to say, what's the reason for closing it? So it's going to be a multi-select pick list. I'm just copying the name there. So multi-select here, pick list multi-select. And next, the field label is closed reason. It's going to be entered. Oops. I haven't copied that yet. So copying. Boom. And I ac accidentally copy that. So we have that available multi select pick list. And then we want six visible lines. So it's going to be visible only six like like this one two three four five six like that okay but then you can scroll down with your mouse so description I'm going to copy here from the playground and then the help text is here and the same thing this is for sales user only to modify next and everybody read only but the sales user can modify like that next add to the page and then do we want to make a new one no just save okay so next part is create a dependency between the stage field and the new close reason okay new field dependencies so if it's closed please make the reason why okay so that's stage and then close reason okay 
So what do we need to select here? Let me see. So close one, select all values starting with one and close last, select all values starting with last. So close one, we don't see it yet, so you can hit the next here to see the next set. So close one and close last. So if it's last, if it's one, call the one, right? Include for the last here, close last, or the last here, we have six of those, include. And then take a look how it's gonna work. Preview, it's a multi-select now. If stage is close one, then you can choose more than one, okay? If it's close last, you can choose more than one. Looking good, so I'm gonna save. Yes. And that's it, so I'm gonna bring back my playground over here. And let's verify the step. I'll see you on the next section, which is create lookup filters. Bada bing, bada boom. What happened is we mistyped the field name. I was typing closed with a D reason. What it's supposed to be close reason. If you replay the video, I typed it with a D, closed reason, that's wrong. So modify that with close reason without the D and then get the points. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.